Hey guys, Mike here with Things You Might Like. Now, I've done a lot of research with the present state of the crouch jump issue, and it seems like Blue Hole has gone through a lot of trouble with eliminating our ability to easily do crouch jump without giving us vault yet. So, in my research, I found that the only way to do it at the present time is by doing a macro. Now, I'm not going to be doing this, but for the sake of educational purposes, I'm gonna put this out there for those who do wanna go this route because I really think that it's really not that great for them to limit our ability to just move around the game when they haven't implemented their vault mechanic. So I'm gonna give this out to you guys now. Obviously the big caveat is you have to have a keyboard that has a utility that allows you to create these types of macros. In my case, I have the Corsair K55, and so I am going to walk you through how to make the macro on this keyboard and this can be done in other utilities and it's going to be a somewhat similar process so while this is specific to this keyboard hopefully it'll at least get you on the road to being able to do it with whatever keyboard software you have so here we go so I have a default profile already that I use for uh, my colors that I like to use and I don't want to get rid of that and I don't want to start from scratch so I'm going to start by copying this profile and then in the copy of default I'm going to link this profile to a program so that way as soon as I open battlegrounds the program will start running so I have it already open to the correct folder you can see it right up here that's the folder you're going to want to go to and here's the actual steam application for the game so you click on that you click open and that'll put it there so now anytime the game opens this profile will link to it so watch the profile switch now that I've got it tied to the game I have the game window open and if I click on the game it automatically moves over to that profile. So we're gonna hop into the actions here now and we're gonna make the key binding. So to start, we're gonna add a new item. We are going to tie it to the space bar. And we are going to add a new event. We're gonna add the keyboard event and the keystroke will be the space bar. Now those who have done the side thumb trick where you hit space bar and C at the same time, you know that the space bar has to come just barely first and so that's why the second event we're gonna make is a delay event. Now I'm gonna do a random delay. I believe this is so that the game engine doesn't always read that you are hitting space and C at the exact same intervals, 100% accuracy every time, and so it adds a bit of variance to that. So I'm gonna do a one millisecond and two millisecond delay, and then we are going to add the C keystroke. Let's go to keyboard event, C, done, and we should be all set to go. So with that, you don't have to save anything, it automatically saves as you go. Let's jump back into the game and see if it works. So I am in the game now, and I'm gonna get hit by the blue, and it's actually supposed to be an electric wall. Did you guys know that? Yeah, it's supposed to be electricity, it's not gas. So I'm, now that I'm in game, watch my guy in the bottom left corner. I'm actually in third person, but try it in first person so we can have confirmation with my little avatar in the bottom corner. And jump, and there it is. There's the crouch, I'm just hitting space bar. I'm not hitting C. You can see I'm just standing there and I was able to, I was able to do it. So we have confirmation now that it is working. So I'm curious, I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments, what do you think is going to be the best implementation Personally, I think that they should just make the regular jump as good as this crouch jump, and then the vaulting will be helpful for bigger objects that you encounter in the world. But I just think, make the regular jump as good as this crouch jump, and we won't even have this issue. So if you guys have any other ideas, I would love to hear them in the comments below. Let me know if you think Blue Hole is doing the right thing by not giving us these abilities before releasing the vault. Maybe you agree with them. I want to know about it. So that is going to be it for me today, guys. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And this is Mike with Things You Might Like, and I will see you with my next cool thing.